GGRC. Hey everybody, welcome to the cathedral. That's right, it's Halloween, and we're checking out a new spooky game called the Cathedral. I, I wouldn't say it's really spooky. It's actually a pretty fun action 2D platforming game. Um, but it is Halloween based a little bit. Like, that is to say there's skulls and monsters and blobs and all kinds of stuff to kill in this. Uh, you play as this red knight here. You're kind of just thrown into the middle of this castle here. Uh, the game is quite obviously inspired by games like Shovel Knight, uh, Ghosts and Goblins, that kind of thing here. Um, oh. oh. What have we stumbled into? Oh no! Gotta hit that. Don't get hit by the spikes. Oh, I jumped right into the spikes. Look at that. <laughs> I was like, man, this is actually gonna be a perfect point uh, to take off from uh, because I'll be able to uh, give you guys a little bit of an insight into, into like, oh, I'm about to uh, go into uh, this new area, kill some, kill some enemies. You know, unblock some areas and that kind of thing. Lo and behold, <laughs> actually turns out, no, uh, we're being chased by spikes. So actually, oh, don't jump too high. Okay, we gotta run quick. Oh, hit that. Gotta beat those spikes. It turns out uh, we were being trapped. And we made it. Uh, you're gonna notice this uh, angel lit up. This angel statue lit up once we hit it. Those are your checkpoints. Uh, what's really nice is if you die, you go back to that at any point. I'm not sure why they put one back to back here. But you can also get some healing too if you need it, which is nice. We're gonna drop down to this area. And yeah, it looks like we're heading into the first boss of the game, guys. I was not expecting that just yet, but hey, here we are. So we'll get to figure out the first boss together, which will be fun. So you get three hearts. You can see I've lost one and a half already, so I'm not doing great. <laughs> but the boss doesn't seem to uh, have too much health. Oh, I keep forgetting that we can jump on his head. I'm probably gonna die here, guys, so keep that in mind. Gotta play a little bit more careful here. Oh, we had him that close, too. We'll get him on this next one. Oh, 1997, huh? I'm not, I, I think it's nice that they put the little uh, healing statue there for you as well. Very, very nice. Here we go. Activated. So I, I really like the aesthetics of this game. Looks like an NES game. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, but the, uh, the music they did a great job on too. It definitely uh, feels like an NES game as far as uh, music, sounds are concerned, that kind of stuff. Um, Always love it when a developer goes full hog into their aesthetic. Oh, jeez. That was not cool. Because I feel like, you know, the, the whole uh, pixel art thing has been very uh, played out for a little while now. And yeah, we got him. We got him. Not too bad. But uh, I like when a developer, like, goes whole hog into it because... That's when you know they, they really want it, you know. Oh, look. <laughs> the guy's name was Bra. What's up, Bra? Don't kill the gargoyle, Bra. Grab a heart. We now have an extra heart. So, this is the very beginning of the game, as I said. Uh, this was about uh, the half hour mark, I would say, 30 minutes in. Uh, the game advertises that there will be about uh, 600 rooms to go through. Um... So far, the game has a very, you know, Metroidvania feel to it. But I would say light Metroidvania. It hasn't been, like, super confusing or anything like that, which is nice. Uh, we also got a gauntlet. It's used to battle demons. Use your arrows wisely. So we can shoot arrows now, which is very cool. So if we turn... Let's see. Turn that on. There, there we go. Use Y to shoot arrow. So we had a new quest, too. Uh, let's see here. So, uh, our first quest was to get out. It's a giant cathedral filled with monsters. What is this place? Uh, find a way out. Find out more. Find, I'm sorry, find out more about this mysterious device. Find someone who knows more about the Magnus Apparatus. 
Hmm. Uh, so what's cool about this game, though, not not just the aesthetics and stuff like that, uh, and that they, they seem to be going whole hog into that. It's a beautiful game. Really, really love the look of it. Uh, but it's actually a lot of fun, too. It's well made. It's well done. And I am happy about that because uh, I, I definitely requested to play this game. Wanted to see more about it. Uh, but it's definitely one of those games where I... Uh, oh, we are out of arrows. So you only have so many arrows to throw. How can we get more back? Will you drop some? Apparently not. Um, but you know, sometimes it's one of those things where you see screenshots of a game and you're like, looks cool, I really hope it's gonna be better than it looks. Uh, because nowadays, like I said, with the, uh, onslaught of pixel art games that we get nowadays, you never know what you're gonna get. And it turns out this is a quality game. It's very, very fun. Uh, having only played 30 minutes of it so far, I can already tell that this is far superior to a lot of, uh, pixel art games that come out nowadays. So they have done a great job with this. I need more arrows. I need at least one more. So I got one right now. I can bring that chest down. Maybe the, maybe the chest will have arrows in it. Yep, it did. Okay, perfect. So we gotta go up here. Let's kill this guy. Grab this stuff. Shoot that. There we go. Now we can get across. Uh, but as you can see, they, they've done a good job putting in, like, little puzzles here and there. There we go. Uh, they put in a fun boss right off the bat there. Wasn't too hard to fight or anything like that, but definitely fun fun to uh, fight against. Uh, controls feel tight. Okay, we're looking good here. And, uh, really, guys, what you see is what you get with this game. Uh, you get, you get a spooky castle. NES-style gameplay with, uh, lots of quality of life of improvements, of course. Oh, man, we got this guy and that guy shooting at us. So we gotta wait for that thing to come back around here. Uh, the, the only unfortunate thing is I don't know what the price of this game is at the moment, because I'm recording this before it actually releases on Halloween here. Oh, we can refill our arrows. Oh, get away! That ain't cool. That ain't cool at all. But at least we hit the, uh... the checkpoint. Uh, this game definitely feels like the kind of game, though, that's gonna get pretty... challenging... as it goes. Oh, jeez. trying to hit that medallion. There we go. Because this part is already... <laughs> no, don't die. Already much more challenging than uh, anything else in the game so far. And here are those chests that we saw all the time ago. But I'm okay with that. I like when a Metroidvania or an old-school NES-style game, you know, uh, decides it's going to get tougher. Throw in a little bit of challenge, especially when they give you, like, an easy, uh, easy first boss. I'm like, bring it on. I can take it. We're going to get our first arrow expansion, I think, here. There we go, and we're upgrading. We can now hold ten. Who doesn't like that? Now, we are going to head back up. Uh, as with any good Metroidvania, there is a gigantic map to look at. Uh, there apparently was a secret room that I did not get to. Uh, so this game is going to have all kinds of secrets in it. Uh, if we surf over here, you can see that there is an area up here I couldn't quite get to just yet. So, again, true Metroidvania fashion. Not only do you have a map, but you have rooms you can't get to until you get certain abilities and certain objects. Yeah, I only had one heart left. Uh, one of the other things with this game, too, that I have a little bit of a strange... Um... Oh, jeez, that's not fair. Wow, okay. I might as well just die at this point. Wow. That, that guy was right there as I spawned in. Okay, that's been the cheapest thing in this game so far. Not a fan of that. 
Okay, run over. RC don't like that at all. And I lost my train of thought. Don't even remember what I was talking about now. Don't you hate that? You're in the middle of talking about something, some distraction, and you're just like, what was I talking about? It happens to me all the time. Uh, so yeah, you're, you're gonna get different, uh, different weapons, different objects, that kind of thing. That will help you reach other areas you haven't been to. Oh, um, but the thing that does bother me about this game, though, is that some enemies take one heart away and others take two hearts away. And you just kind of have to memorize who does what. Um, I'm not a really big fan of that system. Uh, I'd rather it be like the whole Zelda approach where, hey, everything should either take half or everything should take one. Um, if some are going to take more than that, I feel like there needs to be a better indicator of who is doing what. There's a chest up there. No idea how to get up to that, though. Alright, take these bats out. There we go. Did that put me up there? Oh, jeez. Okay, look. Now that time... Ugh, jeez. See, I'm having a hard time seeing what my, where my hearts are at when, when that happens. So are those green floaty ghost skeleton things going to just come at me now, randomly, like for, for the rest of the game? They're just like, yeah, now now these fly at you constantly. That's <laughs> that's going to be really annoying. Uh, there was a secret area over here. We're going to die if we head back here, but whatever. Let's go see if we can try to find it. Jump. Well, that didn't work, did it? I guess if these guys show up, the, the best route to take is to just humor them, take them out ASAP before anything else happens. Okay, so there was a secret chest there. Oh, jeez. Come on. Secret chest there. Okay, those floating skeleton guys... Haven't been in the game up until this point. Yeah, I would say they, they kind of suck. Look at that. See, I was about to jump up that way. If I was about to do that, I would have just ran right into that guy. What's the deal with these guys showing up all of a sudden now? Again. RC don't like that. That's the way this game is going to be from now on. I'm not into it. I don't see a secret passage to wherever this secret room is supposed to be. But you can see it right there below us. This ghost dude needs to uh, go away. Stop appearing. Ah, look at that. Very much uh, like Scrooge McDuck, DuckTales style. Oh, it's just coins, which you so quickly lose anyway when you die. Hmm. Well, all right then. I guess one of the other things that's a little annoying as well is that uh, the uh, sword thrust down move that you do, um, you actually have to reapply it every single time. So, for example, uh, if we use it on an enemy, you can't just hold the button down uh, like you can in Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight, you know, you can just hold it down, you can bounce on everything. DuckTales, hold it down, you can bounce on everything. For some reason in this game, if you do this and hit an enemy, you have to hit the button again to bring the sword out, which, in my opinion, is a little annoying, especially when you play other games in this style, um, and they do it uh, a little bit more easily or differently. Okay, we do have a way to go down. There's a way to go up over there, too, but I don't remember what that was. But not important. Let's go this way. Now that we have the arrows, we should be able to access something different. Here we go. Let's get away from that dude. Maybe if we kill the next boss, those things will go away? I have no idea. Well, jeez. 
skulls are just flying everywhere. It's very uh, Castlevania Medusa head style. The other annoying part, though, is that the uh, the dudes that hit you for two are not leaving hearts when they die every time. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this area is getting sticky. So there's minus ten percent. Yippee. Shoot that guy. Drop on down. Ah! Come on. Okay, that didn't work. There, like, I'm down to one heart already because I missed that stupid... <laughs> Jeez. I would say the, the first 20 minutes of this game are very deceiving as to what, what you're going get to get yourself into with this game. Because uh, I feel like it has been very, very lighthearted up until this point. And now I've got random skulls showing up. I got these random green dudes showing up. And now I'm down to half heart again. Wow, this part is... <laughs> okay. It's not super fun. Okay, let's see if we can get past this. Oh my god, with the red skull, with the just randomly showing up thing. That that is so annoying. That is the that is the worst. Oh my god. Down to one heart again. What what am I doing wrong here? Yep, go away. Alright, so that these dragons here. They can shoot right through the ladder and all the solid stuff there. Okay, so we are now... Looks like we're at another boss area, if I had to guess. And which way is the boss, you think? Let's find out. I hope there's no more random red skulls. Those guys suck. Not a fan. Okay, nothing's happening in here. Oh, this little wizard guy. You do see this wizard guy from time to time throughout the game. Hey, what are we doing here? Oh, man! Big eyeball! I still can't control my guy. There we go. Alright, so that's gonna take green thing off of that. Okay, so I gotta destroy all the eyes first, I guess. Oh, jeez. The heart. There we go. Come on. Okay, that's one. What do we got left here? Oh, man, there's all kinds of stuff. I gotta make sure I grab that stuff. Alright, I gotta climb all the way to the top. This is actually a pretty clever boss fight. I'm gonna hang here. Okay, that's that eye. Oh, is that it? Your little eyes are gone, so you can't you can't do much anymore? Is that it? Look at that, first try. Got him. Love the NES uh, explosion sound effects, can't go wrong with that. Nice celebration music. Oh, we can grab these little gems now. Ah! What is this? Soul, hello. I seem to have gotten trapped in here. I can't really remember how I ended up in this cathedral, but I don't mind it that much. There are lots of riches here. Just waiting for a new owner. Hee <laughs> hee. What about you? What are you doing here? RC, hmm, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. Just, I like spooky castles, I guess. Soul, not the talkative type then, huh? Perhaps you could help me. Switch over there that I think you will open, will open this prison. If you open it, I'll find a way to make it worth your while. Hee hee hee. Consider it open, little wizard guy. Even though I feel like you set those like huge 
eyeball dudes on us. Thank you very much. See you around. Well, that's a jerk thing to do. The wizard guy has been a, a big jerk so far, though. So I'm not surprised. Is he like, going to feel bad now at this point? Or is he still like kind of... <laughs> Are you all right? I didn't mean for you to fall like that. Well, you killed me, little wizard thing. <laughs> so already you can tell this game has a lot of character too, which I really like. Cut scenes, funny characters. I'm into it. Just fell from the sky, did he? Old man, it sounds like you have had one too many pecan mud cake stouts. Yeah, that sounds like a good beer, actually. No, not the sky, you ignorant whelp. From the old cathedral in Shade Forest. That's why I need you to come over. I'm a health mage. I can't detect pure spirit energy. I needed a spirit mage. You're thinking this person is from another world, don't you? You're thinking about the prophecy. I don't know yet. Uh, there was something more out there. A small spirit of some kind that disappeared when I got close. Very well. Give me a second. I'll do a spirit detection spell. Wow. Well, let's see what happens. I didn't realize there was going to be like this whole to-do here. But it's pretty cool. Anything interesting? Surprisingly strong remnant of spirit energy. Need to consult the books. Let me know what you find. Of course. And the real question is... Will I be coming back anytime soon? Do I get to play as the wizard? Hey, I'm back! Look at that. Well, guys, uh, that's actually where we're going to leave it. Uh, I don't think that this is going to be a uh, super-duper long game here, because I said there's 600 rooms. Um, I don't know what the length of it is, and unfortunately, like I said, I don't know what the price of this game actually is either. Um, but what I can say, though, is that I am definitely enjoying it. I think it is a, a very cool game. Um, I think that it's uh, it's got a lot of strange parts to it. Like... You know, like I said, like with the, uh, the the way the health gauge works with enemies hitting you, you don't know who does how much damage and that kind of thing. You have to memorize it. Uh, seems like there's a couple rooms that are pretty difficult, too, and seemingly random. Uh, when you got those green skeletons and the red skulls coming at you at the same time, for me, that seemed uh, pretty annoying, to be honest. Um, but, you know, other than those things, uh, this is probably about an hour in at this point. Maybe, uh, yeah, I would say close to an hour in or so. Um, and I think it's a fun little game. Uh, if you're into 2D platformers and, you know, pixel art style games, I think this is going to be a great game for you to play here. It's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, but guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. And of course, I will see you all next time.